Lieutenant Dan. God damn, god damn. Look at the man's leg. He has a fish strapped to his leg with a condom. Now, I don't think that's fucking real. Maybe it is. Who knows these days with the Wi-Fi, with AI. You can't trust anything. Hold on. We on the money. He's got some cool tats. But what, what, who is this bloke? What's he want? Why is he here? Well, in life, it's not, it's very easy to get famous. TikTok gets people five minutes of fame and then they're gone. Um, almost like a hurricane. You know what I mean? They came and they go. Lieutenant Dan became an overnight sensation riding out Hurricane Milton. If you didn't see, he basically refused to leave his boat because he's a big man. He spent $1,200 on it and it's all he owned and he could not leave the boat. So he thought, you know what? I don't mind if I die in a boat and drown to death. I'm just going to sit on the river and just die. Surprise, surprise, God intervened, or I don't know, someone saved him at the last minute, and he did not die. He is still alive today. Aidan Ross, a man with more money than sense, gave this man some of his money, but none of his sense, which is good, because then he'd have zero sense. And he offered to, you know, set up a GoFundMe, offered to pay for, um... A boat. And what, a hundred grand boat. And, well, it came out, he's, a uh, he's, he's been in a bit of trouble... I mean, let's just have a look here. That's the man's mug shots. The man's got as many mug shots as I've taken selfies in my entire life. I mean, what has he done? He's got a new haircut in half of him. He's got a black eye in another. It looks like he's into drugs, shit like that, you know what I mean? So it, the floor, the uh, hurricane, obviously very sad if you, you know, you're there. Hope you managed to get out of the way. One man emerged as an unlikely cult hero. I mean, it was weird. I had no idea how Joseph Malinowski, 54, first went viral, but he did because he emerged that he would ride out, ride out the category five storm lieutenant dan he's obviously from forrest gump i'm not going anywhere he told nbc my, my couch does express some well wishing to play sport who else on twitter waiting for lieutenant dan at hope she <laughs> see everyone was really interested in him and wanted to you know find out more about him he's going to go down as one of the most badass residents of florida it will be biblical biblical bruv so they created a gofundme uh to help the modern day pirate as a third <laughs> It had over 40 grand, so he raised a good amount of money. Adam Ross, and this is what I like, an influencer known for his interviews with white supremacist Nick Fuentes <laughs> and former President Donald Trump. Oh, God. Can you believe it? In, you know, like, speaking to someone is wrong. You can't have a conversation with someone and try understand them or have a conversation to try, you know, educate them. During a live stream on Kick, Ross told Malinowski he would pay 100 grand for him to the new boat and get him to safety. Malinowski thanked his online well-wishers but took him at authorities who would not leave him alone but took aim at authority so apparently the popo were just humping his leg or something and would not let him, you know, die at peace. Maybe the man's had a really depressing knife and he wants to go out in a cool way. Don't hate the player, bro. I don't fear the storm. The storm fears me. If it wasn't for TikTok, I'd be out here on my own. They don't. They don't do anything to help you. They just tell you to leave. That you have to evacuate. I don't have to go in, to go anywhere. And you're telling me you're going to put me in a shelter. I'm not going to a shelter. <laughs> so, oh, R Lieutenant Dan was rescued and taken to a shelter. <laughs> I'm not going to a shelter. I'm not fucking leaving. Next morning. So it turns out I drowned, passed out, and ended up in a shelter. Oh dear. He has an extensive criminal hit. So he's been, he was charged with misdemeanor for selling. Uh, I presume he's not been selling pencils behind Target. I presume he meant marijuana. Operating or using a vessel without certificate. So he was not even allowed to be on the boat. That's still open. <laughs> he's not even allowed to be driving the boat. He's, he's, he's been on. Molinowski was released one year into his prison sentence into a felony case over punching a police officer in the nose. <laughs> so the man went to prison for a year because he bopped someone in the face. <laughs> and then, fucking hell, the internet's made this, you know, <laughs> this absolute dirtbag of a human being who's, who does not care about anyone but himself. <laughs> who's probably into all sorts of drugs, a huge amount of money, and now he's just going to kill himself. Because he's going to, you know, just take these drugs. That's terrible. Oh, my God. I had asked him to leave the bar because he was screaming and breaking glasses. As a responding sheriff's deputy tried to handcuff him, punch the officer, he punched him back. <laughs> he later claimed to have urinated in the back seat. Lovely. Lovely. So this is the type of man we're dealing with. He tried to represent himself and was convicted by the jury. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, so he tried being a lawyer.
and lost in a matter of seconds. A woman was smoking on the bench of East Florida when she and Malinowski, who was sitting on a nearby bench, began to argue. Suddenly, he pulled a one-gallon container of gasoline onto the beach be between the pair, igniting it. The guy's fucking nuts. The abbotee grabbed his countries and hobbled over to the woman who was st holding his syringe, splashed up with the fuel, called into it. The woman unharmed, but said she feared for her life. Dude tries setting someone on fire. Mugshots of the once beloved sea flooded the internet, shifting public opinion. Lieutenant starts 14 mugshots. 14. He literally has more mugshots than I have selfies. Bro is a menace. <laughs> Look, there's the story. Let's just, um, I saw a tweet, um, apologies if I don't like this word either, but I think it just perfectly summarises the type of human being we are, he is. Apologies if you hate this word, I don't like it either. And once I cut you off, you're done, nigga. Sorry. <laughs> he lasted, what, one day? And someone tweeted and said, this guy's got 24 hours before he just drops the M-bomb, and he was right. <laughs> He was fucking right, and he said it. it when I'm done with you, I'm, you're done with me. Um, there was this story. I'm not going to play it because I don't know if it's re real, and I don't want to sort of, like, you know, spread shit. But apparently this is his daughter, and apparently the daughter was saying, basically, he's a massive druggie, you know, he's got serious issues, and basically by giving him all this money and just funding him, you've ba we've basically killed him. I've not given him anything, can I just say. I'm just making a video on it. It's spreading the course, and more people are reminded about what this guy done and what he's actually like. <laughs> but there's that video there if you want to see it. I don't know if it's true, so I... I can't fact check something, you know what I mean? I'm not Google, I don't, so I don't think it's appropriate to say this guy's a massive crack end meth head, you know what I mean? And look, we've seen the criminals, he, he's uh, not accustomed to violence, he doesn't mind bopping people in the face, pissing in someone's car. Who knows what he's else up to in his spare time? But yeah, here's, here's Lieutenant Dan. Just shut that off, there's with his one leg. You know, you got you obviously hitting people is wrong, but I, I respect the fact that this man just lived life on the boat. I mean, he, he was not going to let no government tell him what to fucking do, where to smoke his cigarettes, more importantly, where to die. I mean, look at this police officer here. Uh, I'm not sure he can even run, never mind jump on a boat. So, yeah, so they convinced him to go to a shelter. He lived happy days, but it turns out he's a bit of a racist, maybe. Uh, a criminal, to say the least. And, uh, yeah, I went to prison. I did jail time, but I'll tell you point blank, I'm innocent of all these charges. <laughs> I fucking doubt it, bro. If you punch a police officer, we're going to make sure he gets the boat. He said, everyone has a fucking past. <laughs> Somebody get this man a shield. Nah. Somebody get this man a boat. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to be all for me. Lieutenant Dan, is he a hero? Is he a legend? Is he just a bit of a prick who has been given a platform like many other people who shouldn't have been given one? Look, I'm happy people have given him money to hopefully get a boat and let's hope maybe he, he's able to turn his life around. Let's just hope all this money he's gained does not go on to court cases and paying for lawyers or more importantly paying for himself because he once again lawyered himself and lost. So maybe he'll grow up and use his brain and realise, hold on a minute, I should uh, probably find someone to do this for me. Let me know what you guys think. I think he's not really a great person. And again, we should maybe do our history, our background before we go out and check in the middle of a hurricane whether someone's okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm glad he's okay. But I think there were probably more um, innocent people who should have had more attention than this fella. You know what I mean? I mean, this guy's just got 50 grand at least in the bank now. And you know what I mean? He might be a fucking dirtbag. And he's going to get a 100 grand boat. Aiden, brother, send me a 100 grand boat. I don't even need one. I don't even live near the sea, but just do it. I'll just, I'll just live in it, bro. I don't even need water. Who needs water these days? Finding Nemo needs water, actually. Fair enough.